if you're having a hard time trying to describe what you do, someone experiences some of your work and says, oh, so tell me what you do, or they like your presence, oh, tell me what you do. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's a good question. There's the illusion that you're supposed to have a well-written elevator speech, elevator pitch that is memorized and it just comes out so flow and makes people go, let me give you my wallet. <laughs> you know, like, let me tell all my friends about you. That was amazing. Let me record that and then share it with. Okay. So that's the fantasy. And the truth of the matter is that the best introduction, the best, okay, let me tell you what I do happens in the moment of relationship with the other person. And you know this, if you, the more you know what they want and need, and you allow yourself to go, my introduction is fluid and it is relational. The more you allow that, the more you go, okay, I have 12 things that I do. I have you know, 24 skills, but to this person, I'm going to talk about thing number three and skill number seven. And I'm not going to mention the rest because the elevator pitch idea, the typical idea of, oh, how do you describe yourself? Well, I memorized it now. Here's a piece of paper. It's like, number one, it's kind of boring. No matter how interesting you think it is, it's kind of, it's, it's too rehearsed, number one. Number two, you are not tapping into the psychic understanding of that person at the moment because when you are in relationship to someone, you have certain intuitions about this is what they need to hear. So, okay, that's true. At the same time, I said you have 12 things you do and 24 skills you have. Well, that you need to catalog that, <laughs> okay? You need to catalog those. You probably don't have 12 and 24. Maybe you do, okay? But most of us have like, probably at least three things we do, right? Or we have, you know, I'm a life coach, but really I could serve retirees, I could serve teenagers, and I could serve people who are getting promoted to their next job. What do you want me to say, right? Like, well, which one are you closest to? I'm gonna say that thing, right? So catalog what problems you solve that people come to you for. So catalog the problems you solve that people come to you for the yearnings you help people achieve, the goals, the yearnings, the projects you help them accomplish, the dreams you help them fulfill. So problems as well as dreams, you know, yearnings. And then also catalog your skills. These are the modalities I've studied. These are the things I'm certified in. These are the things I've studied. I'm passionate about it. And so once you catalog them, then it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like Mad Lib. You fill in the blanks when you're talking to someone. You go, oh, I want to fill in with that, that, that problem. I'm going to fill in right there. And that yearning, I'm going to fill in right here. Am I talking to them on this skill? So, and last thing I'll say is this. The more you do this, the more you confidently improvise based on some cataloging, some understanding. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are the things, right? These are the things that I'm passionate about, that I'm good at, that I love to do. Okay. The, and then you 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 have those things, and then you improvise in, in the moment. The more you improvise it, the more you get, the more you start feeling into a way of saying your intro that you enjoy. You see okay. what I mean?